in my prayer time, this is what I heard and saw. This is a prophetic word for some of you out there. I saw you holding, holding on. You're trying to be so strong for your circumstances and your situation. And when your troubles go away, you are holding on and being strong for someone else. And then when that somebody else goes through the storm, you're holding on to another person's problems. You're helping others be the strong one. In your situation, you are the strong one. In other situation, you are the strong one. You keep on holding on and being the strong one. You're so focused on being strong for everybody else. You're so focused on being strong for yourself that you've forgotten that Jesus came so that we can have life that you can have life and life in abundance and life in abundance so that we can have life and not only life but life in abundance for you and I life in abundance for you you have gotten used to being so strong for everyone else for everything else for life that you've forgotten you've forgotten to laugh you've forgotten to hold on to joy you forgot what it is to have life what it is to flourish what it is to thrive what it is to grow what it is to live life to the fullest brothers and sisters God will strengthen you God is supposed to be the strong one. Cling on to him. Direct others to him. Let Jesus carry your burdens. And don't forget that he came so that you can have life and life in abundance. Don't let the enemy steal your joy any longer. Don't let the enemy rob you of your life, brothers and sisters. Jesus came so we can have life. Jesus did not come so that we can be more burdened by life struggles. Even in the midst of the storm, you can have peace. Even in the midst of the storm, you can depend on God. Even in the midst of the storm, you can cast your cares to Him. You know, worrying does not add to your today. It does not help your tomorrow. It just ruins your moment right now. You don't have to be the strong one always for everyone. You can cast it on to Jesus. Remember, Jesus came so that you can have life and life in abundance. So stop focusing on being so strong that you forget to live your life. Brothers and sisters, I'm praying that this shakes your spirit, that this moves your heart, that this turns you around. Oh Lord, I thank you, God, that you move in my brothers and sisters right now that they will feel your spirit, they will feel your love, and they will know your purpose for them, God. And part of your purpose for them is that they will have life and life in abundance, that they can live their life to the fullest in the name of Jesus. They can enjoy their life. They can have fun in their life in the name of Jesus. The enemy has robbed them, have robbed them of the joy in the name of responsibility, in the name of being busy, in the name of being productive, in the name of being independent, in the name of being, woo! Enemy has used so many names, so many names to steal your life. God, open up my brothers and sisters' eyes and ears and hearts. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your prophetic word. Thank you, Lord, for your message today that they can cling on to. 
Oh Lord, I thank you for the joy that's about to rush in their home, for the peace that overcomes them, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for my protection in the family. Oh Lord, save my brothers and sisters from the enemy's tactics, God. Save them from his deception, oh Lord. I thank you, God. Thank you, God, that they shall not worry about their tomorrow because you got it under control. You will take care of it for them, oh Lord. For it only ruins their moment right now. For it only steals the joy that they would have right now. Oh, I thank you, God. Thank you, God, that they are able to trust you. Thank you, God, that you increase their faith in you. Thank you, God, that you will prove yourself to them. Thank you, Lord, for your mighty love for them that they will be able to feel and see and know. Lord, I thank you, God, for increase in their lives. Increase and for the mighty favor that you are about to bestow on each one of them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Be blessed, brothers and sisters. I love you, but Jesus loves you even more.